Automation can be defined as the process of adding smart electronics into a manufacturing factory in order to control the machines used to manufacture a product. Common applications of automation systems include factories, chemical processing plants, utility plants, or other industrial businesses. Manufacturers add automation in order to gain a number of important benefits, including making a highly repeatable product with high quality, repeating an operation over and over exactly the same each time, performing tasks that would be dangerous or impossible for people to perform, making the job easier for the people who operate the manufacturing equipment, and automatically gathering information from the process to help with decision making and many other capabilities that could not be accomplished without automation. Oftentimes, automation is associated with robotics, but many other machines are often controlled by automation. For instance, some companies may only choose to automate a single device or a single machine, while others may automate an entire factory. Automating a process requires three fundamental pieces – controllers, inputs, and outputs. First, the automation system must be able to sense what is happening with the product or machinery and bring that information into a specialized computer called a controller. Based on the state of the product or machinery, the controller contains logic that will decide what to do next and will command the machinery to take action. The devices that bring information to the controller are generically called inputs or sensors and the devices that are commanded to take action from the controller are called outputs or actuators. Much of the information gathered by automation equipment can be displayed on specialized computers known as Human Machine Interfaces or HMI. Operators often control the machinery from the HMI. Sensors are usually embedded inside of the automation equipment. Controllers are usually mounted in an electrical panel and not far from the machine. Actuators will be commanded as a part of the machinery. All of these devices will be monitored on an HMI display near the machinery, in an operator control room, or located remotely. 